Hey everyone, this video is going to be on cloning a hard drive or imaging a hard drive. What you see is a, an external hard drive that I have now. Plugged, this is an IDE drive plugged into an IDE box and connected to a USB port on the PC. I also have another external box which you might have a SATA drive. And if you have a SATA drive, you could have an external uh, docking station, plug your SATA drive in, and there's a USB port on the back, and you can plug that into your PC. And that will be the drive that you were writing to. The drive that you're cloning is in your PC. You could also, if you don't want to use a docking station like this or this, then if you have the cabling in your computer, you could plug in a second drive and use that to uh, clone your master drive to on your computer. So it's your choice if you want to clone to an external that is internal or that is on a docking station on a USB. Um, that's strictly for cloning. If you're going to be imaging, you can image to just about anything, a DVD, a lot of DVDs, or an external drive like this, or an internal drive in your PC, or a network server drive that you have attached to your computer. So let me show you the process now. Okay, the process is pretty simple actually. I'm going to be using a program called Macrium Reflect. You can see over here I've got the professional edition. Uh, the difference between the professional and the free edition is the free edition will allow you to clone a drive, which means you can clone the drive. Uh, you can clone what's in your PC. And so if you're swapping out drives, if your drive is bad and you want to put in a new drive, then you could use the free edition. The difference again between the free edition and the professional edition, the free edition, if you have a computer and you clone your drive, you can plug that drive right into your computer and it should work just like the drive that was in there originally. That's the free edition. The professional edition is should you make a clone of that drive and you want to plug it into a different computer, different hardware, the free edition won't allow you to plug it into a different computer. Only the computer the clone was made on. The professional edition should allow you to put it into a different machine. So if you make a clone and your computer blows up, technically you should be able to take that hard drive that was cloned and put it into any other computer and start it up. Now, to continue, the nice thing about Macrium, the nice thing and not so nice, the problem with backing up is when you're backing up a lot of data, most of these programs uh, zip or rare the files, so they're compressing the files, which means that if you look on a hard drive, you wouldn't be able to see what those files were. When you use a program like Macrium and maybe a Cronus, then they usually have an explorer on there so that you can go in there and read the encrypted files and copy and paste them to another drive. So that's important, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see the data. Um, the other thing that you need to know about is if you're, besides cloning, there's a thing called imaging. Say that you uh, you don't want to make an exact copy of that hard drive, you want to take an image of that drive. You want to make an image and save it so that should you have a problem, you should be able to take that image and load it into any other hard drive and start your computer up and everything should be good again. Um, so there's a difference between cloning. Cloning just makes an exact duplicate that, it's a copy. It's a copy that uh, that is written to the drive. An image is normally just a big picture of all the files and you can just load that image on and um, you're not really loading files on, you're loading on a whole image, one image file that will contain all the compressed files and the hard drive of the computer should work after that. Okay, so let me show you how, real, how simple this is to do. So when you start up this Macrium Reflect, it asks you if you want to create rescue media for system recovery, which I'm not going to do, but when you have a machine, you really should do that. So the whole idea is that if the drive won't boot up, you should be able to uh, use this rescue media to make everything work again so you can recover and at least have your data. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do, let me show you how easy this is to do a clone now. I've got drive C, which I've already done this on my SATA, and now I'm going to make a backup on my IDE drive uh, uh, docking station so you can see how it's done. Fairly simple. The drive that I'm going to clone to, the drive that I'm going to write this uh, clone to is already in the docking station that I showed you. You can see over here there's drive C, which is my computer, drive C. It's a small old 80 gig hard drive. It's probably 11 years old and ready to fall apart. Drive D is some really small file that was put on by Dell when I got the machine. I don't know why it's there, but I'm not going to mess with it. Drive G over there is an external drive that I put on um, with extra data, and I don't want to copy 
to that external drive or the additional drive that's in there. I want to copy to this drive over here. This 111, which is really a 120 gigabyte drive. It's a 120 gigabyte drive, and you can see it's got the 16 bit fat thing, which might be the USB box. I don't know. And then over here, I've got my. Uh... All right, hold on a second. I've got the 80 gig. You can see the 80 gig where I've already put an image. I put an 80 gig image of my original drive on the 120 gigabyte drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be cloning drive C, my original main computer drive, to this drive over here. Number two, the local 80 gig, which is technically the 120 gig drive with an 80 gigabyte uh, partition. So the first process is you go up over here to your main drive and right over there, it's very simple, clone this disk. I want to clone this and this, my main drive C. So I'm going to click clone this disk. Now you see the source Double check everything because you don't want to lose, you don't want to overwrite your data and screw yourself over. The source is drive C, my 80 gig drive. The destination, copy partitions, destination. See the difference over here? Source and destination. There's source and destination. The destination is going to be copy, select drive to clone to. So I'm going to select drive to clone to. And the only drives that it's going to give me to clone to now are that 120, which is really listed as 111 gigabyte with the 80 gig partition. So this is the drive I'm going to clone to. It didn't pop that in the destination, so I'm going to highlight, I'm going to highlight this, and then I'm going to tell it to delete the existing partitions, because you don't want to write to existing partitions. Double check, make sure. <coughs> you can see this is drive 2, my drive C, my main drive I'm not messing with. I'm going to delete existing partitions. Delete existing partitions. Now what I have is a 120 gig drive that I can write to. Now what I have is my source drive is drive C, my destination drive is drive 120 gig, and I've got both of these boxes checked over here. So I'm going to copy the selected partitions. Now you can see over here, it just wrote this down, drive 2, local 80 gig. And then it threw this fact table, I have this 16-bit uh, data thing in there. Who knows what that's for? Now all I do is I go down to click Next. And what we see here is I'm going to be getting my source drive, the 80 gig. My destination drive is 120 gig. First operation is copy drive C, which is really drive D. You can see I'm copying drive C. Well, I labeled the disk drive C. Drive D is going to be copied. Primary drive C, which is my 80 gigabyte original drive, is going to be copied, and then I'm going to end up with a new uh, a new drive on my uh, 120 gig hard drive. So that's what I want to do. Once I'm finished, I just go over here and click the finish box. And if I screw this up, here's another thing over here. There's an you can see over here it says intelligent sector, sector copy. You have an option. You can uh, say that this this drive right now is 80 gig. Intelligent sector copy will only copy the sectors that have data in them directly onto the hard drive. You can also do a sector by sector copy, which is an exact fingerprint duplicate of that hard drive, which will copy every sector of the 120 gig or whatever you have to the new drive. Well, I don't really care about that. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to do the intelligent sector copy. I'm double checking again, operation copy my drive D, copy my drive C, and hopefully I don't ruin this. I'm going to click finish, and here we go. Dismounting drives, which means it's disconnecting the drives from Windows. And now it's going to start doing what it needs to do. These drives will be overwritten. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes, continue. And now down in the bottom, you can see that Macrium is now doing the clone. And this takes about an hour to do an 80 gig drive. SATA is much quicker, but it does take a while. It takes a long time to do. But it's definitely an awesome thing. Clone your hard drive if you're having a problem with your hard drive and make sure that uh, everything boots up and it works the way it should, then go in there and take your old hard drive and either save it for a backup in case, or go in there, take it apart, look at one of my videos on how to take apart a hard drive, break the platters apart so nobody can steal your old data, and uh, use your new drive. If you only want to do imaging, then get a program like uh, this Macrium Reflect, or Acronis, or Clonezilla, which is a free open source program, and do your cloning or your, uh, your imaging with those programs. All right. What we see now is it's making snapshots of the volumes. It's actually taking uh, a picture of everything, a digital picture of the hard drive, and then it's going to go and start writing all of that data to the new drive.
it is looking good so far. Here we go. In crap. And to finish off the video, I am booting up the SATA drive that I cloned. I'm using a SATA drive converter board. And let's see what happens here. I think everything looks good. So Macream is pretty awesome. I'm very happy with the program.